we've got a motorcycle that we got to go through. Another interceptor. It's going to snow eight more inches tonight. So that's why we figured we go get this bad boy now. See what we got. See if we can get the beehive running. Any of you thinking of moving to Wisconsin, this may be a good reason not to. Your riding season is six months, seven months, eight months if you're not a pussy like me. I don't think you're getting nine, but we're gonna get this bad boy in here. I'm gonna talk to the man that owns it. We're gonna get drunk and watch the 24 hour of Daytona race. We're gonna watch AJ Allmendinger win this bitch for the first time since 2012. And uh, I'm gonna start pulling some of this thing off because it'll be fun. You don't wanna do this because uh, you don't wanna be on a video, but I'm gonna look at this motorcycle. So this is a, I believe 1984 or 1985 Honda Interceptor. I'm guessing that based on the fact that the 8485 have fuel pump and I see a fuel pump. So when we were young, uh, 16, no, 17, 18, yeah. we both had interceptors. I had this interceptor. You had a different interceptor. 86. You had an 86. So 86 is much different than the 84, 85. This is a different one that we picked up, I believe, last year. Last year. We haven't heard this thing running yet. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, obviously not tonight, we're 12, 14 beers deep because AJ Allmendinger is going to win this fucking 24 hour Rolex race tonight, race. first time since 2012, we're going to see it and we are going to fucking hug and we're going to love it. And but right now we're talking about this interceptor. So I'm probably going <laughs> to, <laughs> cheers to that. Cheers. All right. Nice. Well, <laughs> I'll deal with that one later. Um, <laughs> So what I wanted to do is go through this bike and what we really need to do is figure out is this worth actually putting all the money into because you can buy a bike for a thousand bucks but if you have a dud to begin with it's not worth it because there's a thousand dollars worth of rubber you got to put onto a 38 year old bike to begin with. It just it it's it's going to be that way so what we got to do we got to pull the valve covers off of both sides of these a hundred percent we have a we have brakes that work but they're super spongy we've got really nice set of fairings uh really nice set of fairings so at the very least you get your money back from the set of fairings yep. so we got to pull all the brakes out I have the pistons left over from that one and mine were very good but I still replaced them just because I was uh, being anal. You even have good fucking grips on here. We should have brought the key over because we're never going to be able to compression test it without the key but we'll have that. Uh, the rotors look all right. They look a little bit scored. The fork seals are going to be blown and they, they are blown. I can see they are blown. Fork seals aren't that expensive, it's just fucking annoying. We're gonna have to hope that the circlips inside of these aren't rusted through like the circlips that were on mine, which became a big goddamn fucking deal. The wheels look great. I don't actually know if this black versus polished is stock. I really like the look of this though. I think it might be dirty, I don't... I'm no, but, but do you see how it's painted? No, oh, it is actually black, yeah. Do you see how it's painted? That and then, might be stock. Actually, is that how they are? Well, you got a chromey right here. I guarantee Honda didn't do chromies. No, that could be. That I could like stop. the look of that. So we can clean this up really nice. We'll find out if the speedometer and the tachometer work. You've got the stock turn signals. Very nice. We're keeping those. Different. You don't get to change we'll get that. The, That's straight up 80s. We'll we are keeping that. All right. I think the head. You, did we power this? I hope the I don't headlight even works. Think we powered it. Okay. We we're gonna pretend. Uh, we're gonna pretend the headlight works. I, you want to keep this as eighties as possible. Yes. Oh, okay. Sure. So no, this will be all right. Rebuilding here. All right. What do we got? We got twenty one three ninety seven on the clock. Uh, you got this piece, which I don't have. This is some kind of heat shield, and now I'm realizing that I should probably have one. The great thing is we have a reference bike. Beautiful thing. Yeah, you can just. Whatever, if you're not sure about something, we can take this one apart, figure it out. You've got a great looking tank over here. Just brilliant looking tank. I don't think there's a single dent on this tank. This tank is worth 300 bucks on its own. There you 
There you go. Uh, probably more at this point. You have a seat without a rip. That's actually another hundred bucks there. Yep. And you have a carburetor oh. that I went through, so it's worthless. <laughs> Stop. So I re I, re I rebuilt that awesome. carburetor. Awesome. That was last winter was already. Yeah, that, was that was last was winter like already. Spring. Like winter into spring. But it hasn't seen fuel in a while. The the only major issue I know with this carburetor is that one nylon bushing that I couldn't find that I had to buy some that looked close and I had to sand it myself. So I think I think synchronizing these are going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, but I mean, it's close. Thirty eight years old. It is what it is. So we're still looking at this. If we're going to check the compression, we're going to try to get this thing running before we decide if we want to put money into this bike. If we put money into this bike, we're doing all the rubber. We are doing the front brakes with the seals. We're doing the fucking clutch with the seals. We are doing the calipers with the seals. We're doing the engine with the seals. We're doing the slave with the seals. We're doing the gasket with the seals. We're doing new insulators, intake boots on both sides. Quite frankly, we might even have to do that to try to get it running because yeah. this is going to be a bitch and a half to get those things seated. Luckily, the 84, 85 is like 36 bucks for the whole bike. If you had an 86, you're at like 150 bucks, which is fucking retarded, but that's what it is. Uh, rubber just fucking everywhere is going to be an issue. If you look at these, these exhausts, these are gorgeous exhaust a lot of dust on them but these are gorgeous specimens for 39 years old we got the fucking center stand on here which is what every bike should have and nobody should ever take it off we have a luggage rack which i've never seen before on a honda vf 500 which is great you said you've already got a new battery so we yeah. don't have to buy one got we've got some brake fluid that looks like mud so that's going to be a problem the good news is i've got all my old pistons from this one which were actually good, but I replaced them because, uh, just, you just be, do it. Yeah, just because we'll deal with this. This is all right. We can deal with this. It's the rust. You're talking I about? Think, yeah. I think it's a little bit more than surface rust, but we just, we can get down on that. We don't have to take the engine out of the bike to deal with that. Beautiful. This looks all right. The big issue is if we have, if we have bad cams in here, if we pull the valve cover, valve covers off and we find cams that look pitted yep. i hate to tell you it's, it's, it's a, not worth it's it a loss, yeah. so i don't want to throw money at brake seals pistons everything That's like that got that one sitting there yeah <laughs> if we pull them off and it's no good then then we start selling i mean you'll, you'll, have, yeah. you'll have your money back because I mean, quite frankly, most of it is in that tank. Nobody has those tanks anymore. I mean, we paid what? I think it was eight hundred bucks, right? Yeah. So you yeah. have the money in the tank. Probably a little more than we should have, but we saw the potential. Uh, you and I both spend a lot more money on bikes than we ever should. Yeah. That bike's that a twenty-year-old bike, carbureted bike. Most people are trading those things for like twelve hundred. I paid twenty-eight. Oh, no, it was, it was like twenty-six. Yeah, you're right. It was. No, twenty-four ninety-five. And, and we made right. the difference up on the five. Yeah, that's right. Either way, right. nobody pays that much for a carbureted bike in 2020, but I did. Um, we're going to be all right if we open these valve covers off and we see that it's, and we see that we don't have camshaft lobes that are pitted. We will get this running. If we see they're pitted, we will just fucking yeet it off a cliff. There you go. But for now, we'll hang because on we're a fucking wall. We could hang We're gonna, it from your fucking ceiling. Actually, that's a better idea. See? No, we ought to there do that. Go. That's way more fun. Artwork mm. then at that point. Yeah, well, you had a... You were always a smart one. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, anyway, I think this could potentially be a very beautiful specimen. Uh, the, the fact that it has this whole OEM exhaust, and I, I know we're not doing a lot of favors by showing it with all the dust on it, but I saw this when you had it cleaned up in yeah. the summer, and... There are very few of these left looking this nice. If we've got decent cams, we might have you a decent bike. You and I may have the Matt Interceptor, Interceptor Gang yes. of New Berlin back again. Back. Reliving. Back God, was that? It was 2005? 2005. 2000, 
It was like 2006 is when we graduated. That was literally was half our life ago. That was. That's... You fucking ran out of gas on the way, on the way right back. The... Sly was fucking running with, with the water bottle full of gas. Yep. That was. Those were the top. Oh, oh, memories. Now we gotta, we're old as shit. Really? I hope they're good. I, we yeah, we're old nah. as shit. But we're still watching fucking racing, and we're still watching fucking AJ win this thing. And uh, I'm probably gonna delete this shit because it's not gonna be worth it to anybody. But it's <laughs> what it does. It's worth it. Go AJ. Well, it's next day, and I'm not a fucking drunken fool right now. So I was just going through and peeking around, and we look real nice inside of here. In fact, this actually looks cleaner than mine. Uh, looking through um, the camshafts and just basically everything underneath the valve covers. This bike is a filthy mess. However, underneath, I don't see anything that gives me pause, which is awesome. So, I think we might have something here. I think might start doing some work on this bike. Oh yeah, normally I say thanks for watching, but if you watch this clown show all the way through, uh, I'm sorry.